Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. All right, folks, here it is, a Friday night, St. Joe Bay. You don't believe how we set this thing up. I was at Howard Creek. I was just going to run by and check on Jeff Carroll and make sure everything okay at his camp. And he said, yo, you want to go floundering tonight? I said, well, heck yeah. You got to stay ready. And a big old storm came through, but it just left. And, uh, and you, you, you've been here all week? And I have been here all week, and it has rained all week. I've had my boat in the water one time. I ran across the bay right before dark, and um, 30 minutes of daylight, we uh, speckled trout fished a little bit, caught one keeper speck, and then floundered for about 30 minutes, and the storm came up and we had to take off. So, been here all week, and it has kept us away. The rain has kept us away all week. So, tonight, we're going to try again. We're going to try to make up for it. Oh, uh, yeah. But this is, we're talking about going to spur of the moment. This is it. I didn't bring my camera. We used one of Jeff's. Uh, <laughs> Some kind of camera we got here, but we're going to we're going to we're going to have a good time. We know that. So yeah, hopefully uh, we'll get some video of sticking some good plow there. But I'm excited. Just like last time, Winston, uh -huh. we got bad conditions. We got a big moon, and I don't know if you can hear it in the background. There's a boat that has run ashore out there because the tide is very low. Yes. And and on our way out, we might get to help him get off the bottom. He's been about 20 minutes. <laughs> um, <laughs> And it's a lot of rain, so I'm not sure about our visibility, but we're going to go give it a shot. We're going. Let's All do right, it. buddy. All right, here we go, folks. We're getting started. What about it, Jeff? Well, there's no need in cranking up and running real far. We're going to start right here at the landing. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of flounder kill just around this landing, so we're yep. going to give it a look. Uh, it's a little bit dingy, but uh, we can see him in a couple feet of water, so let's give it a shot. All right. This is like a yellow which I like, it's not quite maybe as bright as the white, but the glare is not as bad, so you can actually see better. Um, in most situations, the yellow just is a really good color. Yeah, we were talking about that last year, I remember, or last time we went, about yeah, the yellow. Yeah. And um, I've gone to pretty much exclusively using the yellow now. Jerry's makes a good product. Get a lot of flounder with them. They're right here, I don't know if you can see them or not. Is a little eel or a sea snake. I'm gonna guess some kind of an eel. It's one of the cool things about flounder. You never know what you're gonna see. You don't see them too often. So some of you can maybe comment on the Panhandle YouTube page and tell us what which it is, an eel or a snake. <laughs> All right, we got a flounder laying there. He's nice and hid. It's like a decent sized flounder. I don't see him yet. Where is he? <laughs> Uh, he is right where I'm fixing the stick. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right there. Right there. Right there. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Alrighty. Good job. Good flounder. He's probably 18, maybe 19. <laughs> Good start. We haven't been out long. Nope. It's right here at the landing. Folks, you know, hear that? That boat's been stuck there since Jeff and I have been out here a good half an hour. It's low tide. He's stuck on a sandbar. And uh, I can see the rooster tail. You probably can't see it, but I think you can hear it. Listen. He's gonna burn his engine up. He's still in one spot. Listen. He's been stuck there at least 30 or 45 minutes. But he was stuck there when we launched the boat. Places. You better sit inside while you folks. I say to the old chap, there ain't no way you hold me off this. 
tan bar is there. You got a long rope? Yeah. If you got a rope, I might get. Uh. All right, here we go. We, we, we got our buddy in. He was from Tennessee. All right. So this is the, the the canal and the bridge, and it's questionable whether we're going to be able to see anything. But this is a good spot. A lot of people, this is not a secret. A lot of people come down here and fish with poles right here. You've got that canal coming out into the bay, so you've got current here back and forth all the time. Um, so we're going to give it a shot around the mouth of this thing. The tide is out, so it's going to be pretty muddy. So I don't know if we'll be able to see, but. We'll work those edges going up in that canal and see if we can see anything. If the clarity's there, we'll probably kill flounder. If we can't, we'll have to go find clear water somewhere else. Okay, we, we're easing up in here um, close to this bridge. You can see the water clarity is really poor. If we didn't have yellow lights, we wouldn't hardly see anything. But it's very limited to what we can see. But we're going to work this edge. Those flounder may be laying right here on this edge by the edge of this canal, so you just have to take what you can get tonight. We just don't have very good visibility, not here anyway, so. We've had a heavy rain. It has rained like that, so. But you don't need to see much, you just need to see him. That's right, just see that little outline. Well, those, got... those lights are ideal, really. You, if we didn't have those yellow lights, you're right, we wouldn't see anything. Um, if you always have, people fishing up here so you've got to kind of be mindful of that and stay back a little bit if they're yeah. fishing and they're fishing tonight so we won't be able to get too close but um we'll ease up there as close as we can without getting in their way yeah there he is right there right there right there got you got him You got him? Good eyes. All right. Good job. All right. There he is. This one almost, almost got by us. We're running this edge. We're coming in right here at this bridge. Um, there's the bridge. You can see it. Um, no secrets. This is a good spot. People always fishing under that bridge. And uh, you just run this channel right up here to it and he was laying there along the edge of this so visibility is not that great we've got about a 10 foot i'd say we could see maybe around the boat but that was enough to get it done good. the the coloration of these things are pretty awesome yes it is i mean they they camouflage they're chameleons and they'll change their color according to where they're at it's amazing 
Uh, Winston? Yes. What what you think about that right there? Hey, that was a nice one right there. We we uh we thought exactly where he, where he was and and uh, good eyes because we almost went past him. <laughs> and the yep. red color, it was hard to see. Uh, I'm gonna let you gig the next one, Winston. All right. Sounds good to me. There's a small one. See that small one laying there? You 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 didn't see him, Winston. He was only he was only about eight inches long. You, you um, you just. That was a lot better run there. <laughs> All right, we've switched sides of the canal now, and um, visibility is very poor. Cool. Having to get really shallow to be able to see. Boat keeps bumping the bottom. Keep seeing something taking off. Mm -hmm. All right, Winston. All right. This all happened too quick. He about got by us, but tell us what happened here. Well, listen. He said, There he is, and we're going pretty fast. And I went back at him and I missed his head. <laughs> you but got at least him. I got him. You got him in the boat, didn't I, you? I got him in the boat. <laughs> That's a nice flounder. That was fun. Nice flounder. That was fun. Alrighty. All right. All right. All right. Good deal. Well, now your turn. No. No, I got two. You got one. Let's get you another one. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he's close. <laughs> he was definitely 12. He was probably illegal, but we, he was probably 14. I'd say he was right there at it. There he is right there. All right, yep. so we have, we've moved out of the canal. Visibility was just too bad. So we're back out in the bay. It's a little churned out here, but we pulled up here pretty quick. You see a flounder there. We He's not him. big enough to gig. He's about 11 inches, I would say. We'll let him grow a little bit. So let's see what else we can find up in here. Look at him next summer. <laughs> There's a pretty area. Sure, yeah. As you see right here, you see him? How, how good he's camouflaged in there? Uh -huh. His eyeballs right yeah, there? Right there. Right there. Ah. Uh, <laughs> he was probably 14, but we don't yep. have him We're being choosy. It's very selective. It's a lot clearer over here. Yeah. So here, here's an example of a track. This is what we call a track. That flounder was laying right there and he was facing that way. A lot of times if you see a track like that, you can follow him and he'll just, he'll, he'll come up and eat a fish and then he'll lay back down. Now that might be a little bit older track, but it's a, a good tip is if you see a fresh track, mm -hmm. here's another track over here. So he was laying right there. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times he won't be very far. Right there. There he is, right there. All right, so there's another one. See, he got, he's found the most spot in this grass, and he's laying right there. Uh, that's another one. He's probably 14. Boom. We'll let him go. Hey, well, he's right there. He just yeah, stopped. Yeah, he didn't he go there, And there's a little puffer fish right there. Uh -huh. puffer. Yeah, I can he's see him. Right he thinks it's his. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to find a bigger one. Yeah. Look bigger. All right, we got one laying right there, pointing toward us. He's another one of them that he might measure, but we're gonna let him grow a little bit. There he goes. <laughs> right in that little corner there. Looking for bigger. Good eye. I was just thinking. I was just about to say is you need to spot one. You do. <laughs> now we got another one right here. He, we are seeing a lot of them. Yeah, it's about that 14 inches. He, he's pretty, pretty in the ground. Well, he, well, he. Oh, look at him. Settle yeah. right back down. Just yeah. Like. All right. We yeah, got, let's there. see if we can get him.
There you go. Put him in the boat. All right. He's not real big, but he'll measure. No, for he, he, yeah, he. Nice. There he is. All right. Guess him out. He's 14, but barely. Yeah, man. <laughs> He's legal. That's it right there. We don't get a lot of 14s, but we done passed over a bunch of them. We sure it was time to get I'm one. I'm pretty sure he didn't measure, so we stuck him. Good eyes. All right, you see we're running this edge right here. Those flounder holes. There's a bird out there cussing at us. So we run this edge right here, those flounder, a lot of times will lay right up against that grass. So you find these these edges where the grass and the sand meet and just pole or troll right along this edge and a lot of times they'll be laying right up next to that grass ambushing mm -hmm. those fish that come out so the same way when you're fishing for them yep they'll be right where they'll be yeah. so the wind's picking up pretty good and it's pretty ripple but there's one right there see he's really hard to tell Hard to see in the ripple. He sure is. But if I can point him out to you, he's right there. There he goes. <laughs> he was probably right at 14. Yeah. Well, let's take a little bit better look at that one there. Winston spotted him. Yes. I don't know. He, nah, he's not big enough, but he. He's in that yeah, 13 inch range, probably. We got a lot of them. Yep. If they left it at 12 inches, we would have okay. limited it out. Yeah, that's why they didn't leave it at 12 inches. Right <laughs> All right, we, we are kind of finishing up where we started. Yeah. We're right back in the, right back here at the landing area. And Successful start. We, uh, have seen quite a few small ones uh several that was right there at 14 inches we let them go um we've got four in the live well and we'd love to get one more so we can at least get the one person one man limit but um it's been fun nonetheless Just a little, a little more tide than when we come up in here last yeah. time. Not much, a little bit. All right, we're on the last little stretch right here. And uh, we're just hoping for one last flounder. You always hold out hope to the last minute. Winston has got the gig and he is ready for action. I'm gonna gig one of these rocks. Yeah, I've done that before. <laughs> that uh, that gig head has seen a few rocks. That was one little one right there. I saw it. It took off. Took off. It's a little one. Yeah, those gig gig heads are made by Jim Coson. You know him? No, who is what's that? As Jim Coson, he is um from the Phoenix Springs area. And uh he makes the best gig, I believe it's made, period. It's gig a, head. It feels good, it's And um gig. he he will uh he will tip the gig head with titanium if you want him to he charges a little bit more for it because it 
it cost him a little bit to do it but it's supposed to really add a hard tip to it so it holds up well against those rockfish well it looks like we're going to end up with four tonight Winston <laughs> that'll be a mess of fish though the flounder makes quite a bit of yields quite a bit of meat any uh, any last words? It's been a good night. It's been special. Special, you know, we did a spur of the moment. Yeah, you didn't know about five o'clock this evening. You'd exactly. be floundering tonight. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> a big storm came through. And we're glad to we're glad to uh, have been able to go. Beautiful night. It is beautiful moon. Oh, this camera don't show it very well, but uh, the sky is beautiful and the moon's bright. Nice night. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Van Handle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.